Welcome back to the Goose Podcast. Welcome back. In a baseball beer. Baseball beer. Peanut butter jelly time. Sliding in his third base in a stolen base. Strike out home run double play. I have uh, unironically been listening to that song. <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, you, so... you know that the that song it, it's an actual song. What do you mean it's an actual song? Hey, the real the real song is called "You Will Soar." He just did a remix of it. Wait, so that's somebody Dude, actually that's did that so before cool. Scott, him? Yeah, it's why? it's called "You Will Soar" by Scott why Stapp. It, why? Why did they do that? We should probably give some context yeah, to the yeah, people listening. What yeah, the fuck yeah. So if you're listening, about. you have no. Idea Dude, what the hell we're talking knows about. about? That song, come on, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other day when we were recording, uh, Soup brought up that Scott Stapp had done a a a song for the Marlins, probably what maybe like ten years ago or yeah, something. Probably. I don't know. And it was called Marlins Will Soar, and he's literally just singing about baseball stuff. He's like <laughs> home run, run, home run, home run, double play, single play, and it's just so. <laughs> Been it's job. such a meme. Methan- it's like a mean phase. I don't yeah. Know. Like if you're a normal, if you're a normal person that doesn't know who we are, and you just listen to Creed just regularly and don't associate with us, you would think it would be like, oh, cool, he like did that. But it's such a meme to us because Creed has been such a meme that it's like when we hear him go baseball bat and coaches <laughs> and dugout. It's just. <laughs> it's not just to us. I promise you, there were a ton of people that probably listened to that. <laughs> we're like, what the Everybody fuck? Everybody is like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> It's a good song. Like I don't know. I just it sounds oh, good to okay. me. Okay, I was just gonna it's ask. Just, do you think that there's anyone who's just like, man, this is my fucking jam? <laughs> I mean, Nasty's niche is like rock and roll baseball songs. <laughs> it's my favorite genre. It only has one song in his entire playlist, and it's that. We don't like your dogs and mustard there. and relish. I have every menu song from every MLB The Show game ever on my playlist. <laughs> you don't know what meets the eye. Okay, maybe you know it more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that song. I don't get that. Yeah, okay, me neither. That's an old one. Never mind. It's I think it's like a 90s game. Take me out to the squid game. Good show. I can he- I, I, I hate Not that I can always hear it. you clicking. Every time you talk, yeah. I just hear frantic me? clicking. Oh, I'm playing yeah, no. this game. Yes! <laughs> Or, or are you talking about the African in my room? You, we no. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> no. The who? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. <laughs> should we should we should we glaze over that? Talk about that. talk about our sponsor G Subs. Yeah. Yeah, we're sponsored by G Subs. Uh, yeah, code goons G Subs. Code goons G Subs. Ten percent off, I think. Right? Yep, that sounds right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know people yep. have been using it because I keep getting screenshots. Like, <laughs> uh huh. The like notifications being like, oh my Do god, you know? goons! You know, people uh, use the goons, con goons, the gamer subs. Thank you for using code. Uh, Don't use any other poisoned. code, or we will find you, and we will mm. steal all of your pillows so that you're forced <laughs> to sleep flat and wake up with a painful neck. Fill your baby's stomach with the can of G subs and see what happens. <laughs> Don't do that. Make your baby dry scoop G subs. <laughs> Business idea. That's just Edible gamer diapers. Stuffing. Edible diapers made out of pizza. I don't know if that's related to G subs whatsoever, but yeah, we yeah, could no. probably talk. Let's about Let's make that. it happen. Can we get a code for that? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know where to start. Mm. I like that uh, we have a short name with our podcast, so it's like just Code Goons. It doesn't have to be like Code the Shameless Podcast. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a that would that require yeah. a nice to thing. Spell, yeah. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I still see them put goons with zeros for some reason, even though we've never had zeros there. I don't really... It's probably because we used to have the O with a slash in it, and that's yeah. kind of like universally a zero, I guess. I mm-hmm. I universally. I the Egyptians that, invented that one. I don't think yeah. that's a thing, but yeah, okay. Slash invented that right before Sweet Child of Mine. I think it's I think it's like when you're right when you're actually physically writing something. Instead of mentally. I, I think zeros <laughs> Maybe do it because you don't want to confuse it with circle. I don't know. I've seen people do that where they'll they'll slash through the zero to signify that it's a zero, not an O. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just do that to oh. my wrist to signify that I'm sad. <laughs> okay. You okay yeah. today, Soup? How was your birthday? Right. Not go well? I had a bad birthday yesterday? <laughs> What's going on, bud? I'm an old man now. I'm depressed. Yeah, how was your guys' fucking birthday? I'm a grumpy old what man. What did you do for your birthday, Soup? I feel like it's a lot more interesting. You know. No. 
I don't just know. Boiled some boy, boiled. <laughs> yep. <laughs> boiled some boys. What? <laughs> boiled some boys. <laughs> Uh-huh. I just boiled okay. a bowling ball. I had a boy barbecue, <laughs> boys only barbecue. Yep. Very YouTube mm-hmm. review. That thing's got real horny, real quick. Mm-hmm. A very YouTube review. <laughs> What'd uh, you do, Blarg? I didn't. I didn't do anything. I. uh... What did I do? You depressing piece of shit. I couldn't remember. What, well, I, I mean, I'm doing stuff this whole week for birthday. Um, hey, Blarg, I, how old are you? Twenty-five. I'm a Several. year older than you, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're 24. Yeah, Puffer turned 25 as well. And then, yeah, you're a year younger younger than us. So you're... I don't want to turn 30, dude. I'm I'm actually going to die before I turn 30. That's fine. What's... What, what, it's what, scary. Like, what's... But I mean, you're doing well. Like, for a 24-year-old, I, I'd consider you, you know, you're, pretty successful. Having a good life. Yeah. Enjoying it. Definitely top 1% for 24-year-olds. Yeah, definitely. But I just... I don't want to turn 30, dude. That's What's scary. at 30? What is so I feel scary like 40 about 30? Is when it starts to become AIDS. I just feel like 30, when you turn 30, you just got to be sitting in like a fucking armchair with a fire going. <laughs> you got to be listening to fucking the news. It's the life expectancy what? 38. Yeah, what you, that's literally just McNasty and do like a year from I'm now. I'm like what a, do you year, mean? a year and a month away from being 30. <laughs> oh, Honestly, I don't like, I don't, I don't feel 30. Well, How yeah, it's been you, the last year of your life, McNasty. It's almost yeah. Over. <laughs> well, McNasty acts like he's going on sixteen, so he's not. Really... Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I just like that's I don't generous. feel like I, if I was in a like a normal job, like you know, if I was just in a regular job, I'd probably feel that way. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Are you yeah, okay? Hitler was just walking by. Guys, what tight? Some my German propaganda. See, I turned up a little too loud. Sorry. <laughs> You're already getting those old man volume sneezes, too. Just loud <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> That's the best part about the Goons podcast right there. You can just fucking scream sneeze. Who gives a damn? My dog Your is barking dog in the background. Your dog just did it. Your dog just did it's it, just bro. Just do it again. Who gives a fuck? Goons podcast, dog barking, Hitler sneezes, farts, RuneScape clicking. Puking. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if, if Hitler <laughs> sneezed on the Joe Rogan? No, I'm playing Pokemon fucking. today. Shit okay. eating. I ain't pig fucking, but... You guys aren't scared of age? No. Huh? No. I don't, I, I'm such a, like, uh, I'm such a fucking douchebag, dude. I hate myself. I'm going to die. <laughs> what do we know? No, I was going to say, right? like, age doesn't really, like, I don't know. I just, I think about, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, time is just a social construct. You know, that kind of thing. Die. It's not. No, it's not, It's an though. entire dimension. <laughs> it's it's like, a real like thing. a physical it's, property. Yeah. Time is not some hippie logic. It's it's a real yeah, thing. Time is not just an idea. Well, the thing is, like, so if we lived on a planet where... <laughs> it's happening right now. <laughs> if we lived on a planet where the years we do. were three times the amount, <laughs> then okay. I would only be ten. Okay, but you'd still be you'd still be aging. You would just die at the yeah, age no, of, like, Yeah, no, I'm just saying, 20. like, putting, putting a number on age, you know, in in the law is okay. Like, obviously Crib law. death, funny moments. But Are I just, you, I don't... You know, I'm like, I'm going to turn 30 in a year, and it's like, I just don't care. Okay, well, you know, that's I mean, a it's, fair I know, outlook, I guess. You're like, your your age and how you act is, like, mental, but, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, dude. Just something about the number 30. I just, like, yeah. my idea of... It feels like childhood is over, Yeah, right? my idea of, like, when I turn 30, like, thinking of that as a kid is just like, oh, dude, I'm just yeah, going to be like... Yeah, that guy's lame. The only fucking. thing that's ever going to really make me feel my age is when I get to the point where getting out of bed... Makes me want to kill myself. Oh, there's you're not there well. yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so your solution is just to never get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Make exactly. bed. Exactly. <laughs> Make bed wheelchair. Never sit. <laughs> like the the moment I start feeling, we're like, if I go out and eat like a piece of pizza, and then I I have to sn- like sleep a bunch, and I feel like shit and garbage. Like the thing, like you when your body starts. When your what body did you starts- even just say? I just heard like pizza sleep. Describe pizza outside <laughs> sleep time. <laughs> Eat pizza and sleep. That's it. That's what it. So saying? like I'm still young, right? I, if I eat a slice of pizza, it doesn't fuck with me. But I feel like I feel when like you, I'm listening to a fourth grader tell me about being 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about like when you're like 45 and your your body starts actually decaying. Bro, 45 you know? is still pretty young. What you do you have, mean? Like, yeah, but that's when you start having like stomach problems and. Your My vision starts to go to shit, dude. and that—that's like when the start of crap starts happening, like the start of of old age. My you know? thing is, once I cannot 
get a boner anymore on my own volition and I have to take a <laughs> yeah. little pill, yeah, I am go. I am lopping my head off with a machete ISIS style. I'm yeah. done. Then and there. That doesn't and, happen to everybody though. Erectile dysfunction is not like a for sure thing. Well then maybe I'm living till I'm a hundred. I don't know. All I know Let's is go. once once the old chap's not doing his job anymore, we're done. Yeah. All done. <laughs> That's it. That's I don't know. I think line. it's more of a fear of not being able to do everything I want to do before I like turn thirty or yeah. something. What stops you after? Yeah, I feel that. 30? I don't know. I just feel like you know, if you want to have a family and everything, you got to kind of like settle uh, down with your. That's one thing I don't really believe in either. Is like you can have a family whenever, especially as a guy. I, I'm definitely not in a hurry to do that. Yeah, absolutely not. I don't ever want kids. So to be fair, like I'm good yeah. to just, yep, just ride wife and that's it. You know, I don't need. Children. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just, yeah, I don't know. Just like the idea of like making a family. I'm just good with you know, ride wife. <laughs> ride wife. That's, that's kind of a bad way to look at it though, because it doesn't have to be that way. Like family doesn't have to restrict you from doing things. But yeah, exactly. Especially if you know. have a good partner, they could be like part of things you want to do, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It just depends. I mean, I feel like with our situation, if we were to all have like kids, it'd probably be a lot easier, you know, because we're home all the time and. Yep. You know, you don't really, you just really put have them to in a worry. cage and go record a video. You know, like a lot of people will go like I couldn't I could imagine going to work, you know, having just kind of a rough day and then coming home and then your kid is just latched onto your leg screaming at you. Just like I would probably everywhere. I would probably want to end it, but eating leg. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's worse that we're home all day. We have to sit here and like deal with the kid for just constantly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> if I was home trying to record a video and like there's some kid crying in the background, I'm grabbing him by the leg and just chucking yeah. him out the window. <laughs> well, that I kind of wanted like a separate office outside of my home. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to work at. Yeah, I think I think Schlatt recently did that, and it seems like a good idea to like go somewhere. Yeah, it's a hell of a go idea. somewhere work and then be able to come home from it. Doesn't even need yeah, to be like I want off like a your big property. ass man cave. Yeah, I want something on my property like a big ass like fucking warehouse for like my band and yeah. all the work shit. That's literally yeah. exactly what I want, but like a big ass garage for cars instead, and then I want like. The upstairs mm -hmm. to be my uh, my office, and then just like that being on the same property as my house. That's like that's the goal. But I don't know. It's hard to find like big property here if that's not stupidly overpriced. Yeah. Move to Texas. I I'm good. <laughs> I, I I don't think would I would not fit No, I would not. Canadian mm -hmm. Arab. They are not welcome there. You would actually probably, probably just fucking melt. I'd be okay in Austin. Have you ever had temperatures above sixty? <laughs> We've talked about this a lot of times. <laughs> I think it's like one twenty here. Yeah, you're lying. In Celsius? I, I, the fuck does uh, that even mean? In, in Celsius? 120 Celsius isn't Celsius. real. <laughs> that would be way hotter, though. <laughs> yeah, that would be, yeah. like, extremely fucking hot. Uh, yeah. Celsius isn't real. Yeah, but how hot does it get in Kelvin? Tell me that. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly have no fucking clue. I bet you've never even had a mammogram. I'm not a woman. <laughs> Nor do I even have tits to mammogram. <laughs> so, yeah, no, you're right. I don't... I've had several. But you haven't okay. even had a suspicious lump. Pussy. Actually, I have. I I did oh, right next shit, to my I didn't neck. Know I was talking to. Damn. <laughs> I had one on my leg one time. Yeah, you know they never actually told me what it was, so I I could be like minutes from death and I'd have no idea. I had an Amish guy living in my armpit for like two months. Did you have long armpit hair that you thought was an Amish guy? What's? <laughs> no, he was speaking to me in tongues. Okay. Yeah, I had him a little cabin. Where is he now? What What do I say to that? He moved on to bigger and better things. Bigger and better armpits, or what? My asshole. Oh. I'm getting fucked by an Amish man. What do we talk about now? <laughs> man. <laughs> What's everyone else got going on? <laughs> Goons podcast. Goons podcast. <laughs> should we should we should shout out? Do we shout out gamer subs or do I have dementia? We already, yes, we did. We already we did. did. Oh, that I was like fucking ten minutes ago. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? You were busy frantically <laughs> clicking. Oh, true. Okay. I got some questions someone asked. Oh. Blair.s said, does anyone have tattoos and what's the story behind them? Nope. I have a tattoo. Nope. Uh, you only have one tattoo? Yeah, I got it when I was 17. Don't you have it on your arm? Yeah. What My is it? My mom just had to sign a little a little consent form and I went and got it and I was still in high school. So I like rolled up and I was like, boom. What is it? A schlong? Uh, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pocket watch. Why? Uh, what is the symbol? In it doesn't tell the time, does it? No, it's no, right well, sometimes twice a day, twice a day. Yeah, right, twice twice a day. A day, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. It looked cool. That was like literally it. Big I didn't have to. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> I, that is the worst ASMR. It's loud. 
I literally scratching. rather hear sloppy diarrhea ASMR than what you're doing. <laughs> Sounds right like now. a retard using Velcro. <laughs> Just try to get his shoe on. <laughs> oh, take a bite. Stop it. So why'd you get a pocket yeah, watch why? tattoo? I don't know. Look cool. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Is that the only one you have? Yeah, I want to get a bunch more, but my uh, my artist went to a different place and and apparently he fell off. So I just have not went and looked for a new artist yet. Hmm. So you should get a Hot Wheels tramp stamp. Uh, I, I'll consider. I'm surprised that like with like your your past of being like uh, like into hardcore like metal and stuff that you don't have like <laughs> um, a bunch of tattoos. At that point, I didn't really. I didn't really know what what career I was gonna end up in. Oh, that's true. So I yeah. wanted to play it safe, um, but I mean, now that I'm a YouTuber, I could literally get a cock on my forehead and it would make me look <laughs> right. Okay, thank you, Mario. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch would feel about that, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck about Twitch. I could ban me tomorrow, and I wouldn't give a single shit. You could just put some concealer on it. What? There you go. True. No, I think I'd put concealer everywhere but there, and just leave a little pale, <laughs> fleshy cock on my forehead. I can't imagine you would have you'd be able to have a nudity tattoo. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you have a cock on Twitch? But that like, that's not a good way to word that. <laughs> yeah. Is that TOS? It's twenty twenty one, so probably not anymore. Is that is that new TOS? No penises allowed on Twitch. Yeah, no men, no men no. on this platform. We I hate uh, men. deleted all my um limited ad videos yesterday. Unmonetized. Cool, dude. Sick <laughs> tattoo story. That's, that's, that was such a weird transition. That's, I had Chinese oh. food right before this podcast. I wonder if <laughs> I actually had sushi this morning. I so took a shower fun. yesterday and used soap and shampoo. I lit a candle once. <laughs> nice. And nice. you just left it until it just dissipated into nothing. Pissipated. So the thing, the thing that was in Gen, uh, not Gen Chat. Fuck me. In in our group chat. Uh, that was a, a, an official YouTube statement saying, uh, uh, yeah, that like, what was it that that videos channels that have some demonetized videos just aren't going to get as recommended now. Yeah, and channels that uh, it also said channels that have a lot of eighteen plus videos. I don't know if that's like eighteen plus in the title or if it's like eighteen like age restricted, uh, which is what I'm assuming. Yeah, Absolutely. I think I've only got like one or two like actually. Age restricted or demonetized videos. Yeah, I had a lot less than I thought I did. I think I had like six. I have two demonetized videos and no age restricted ones because I'm a good little boy. I have so many I don't even know. I believe <laughs> if that. If I go back, I have like, I probably have like a full page if I go back far. You enough. were, uh, I mean, you were around when Adpocalypse actually happened, so you probably had a ton of shit go yellow yeah. then. Ad fart. Uh huh. Ad, Anyways, ad fart. I was reading a recipe. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a I'm making a cake fart. Oh, make cake. <laughs> add fart. Record. <laughs> Done. Profit. <laughs> you know though, I've I I see a lot of YouTubers complain about <clears throat> like their videos going yellow, and I'm like, dude, there's no fucking way that that video had went yellow. Like, I see people that upload shit, like, and it's so PG, and they're complaining about getting demonetized. And I'm like, dude, there's no fucking way that's demonetized. Dude, YouTube is just selective. There's no, it's like... It's random as fuck. It's random, yeah. Well, I watch, like, some, some like, gaming channel, uh, like, gaming <clears throat> news channels I watch. They will literally, like, be six minutes into the video, and they will censor, like, the word shit with, like, caca. And they're like, I'm going to get demonetized if I don't. It's like, no fucking shot you're getting demonetized mm. for saying the word shit five minutes into a video. Like, you could, like, even fucking Smitty's channel. He says shit, like, five times in the first minute, and they put him on trending. I just think that, I think some YouTubers still, uh, like, make their, they still edit their videos as if it's, like, 2019. Like, back before. Like, main apocalypse era. Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, they still like are living because that's how that's how Oompaville is. Like he never cusses in his videos. Well, he cusses, but it's always covered by like a fart sound or like a monkey scream or something. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't need to. Like in the first minute, he can. But like after that, you could just just cuss. Like it doesn't. Uh. Apparently, it's only the first thirty seconds now. But I don't like to play with fire, so I still do the first minute. Usually, Same, I've 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 kind of I've I've done that recently. Like I've had a couple of videos where it says like fuck and then shit in the first thirty seconds, and it just stays fine. It gets it gets confirmed green. I'll sometimes get videos going like confirmed yellow for uh, profanity. Really? And it, it's just so retarded that that happens because it's like I'm playing an 18 plus game. Yeah, I'm literally shooting like, people in the face. Video. Yeah, plus what yeah. happened to your older ads that they were supposed to be running? It's like they can't make up their mind 
on this fucking yeah. platform. Dude, YouTube, I, I feel like YouTube now is just, it's becoming a kid's platform, like more than ever. If you go on trending and gaming, the only person I ever see on there that's not like a kid specific YouTuber is Smitty. Everyone else I, is either I Roblox. Yeah, I don't know. I see. I don't know. Like gaming trending. Well, I mean, I I, I'm saying at least at I'm least ninety percent of gaming trending is, especially the high gaming trending is kids gaming. The majority of yeah. it is, yeah, yeah. But, but well, that's just kind. Of, it's always really been that I mean, way. Nasty though. on the same thing. You have to realize, like, who is on YouTube all fucking day? It's kids. It's not adults they're working they're doing shit like right. the, the content that appeals to kids naturally is going to get more views because that's who's watching youtube like people mm -hmm. like fucking jelly uploading fourteen thousand gta races a day like those appeal <laughs> to kids that's why it's yeah. always on trending because it's just, those are the people that are on youtube all day i don't but know. it's always been that way though that's never yeah. not been i remember i mean i i know that's that stuff has always been on there but i feel like it's just way more of it now i don't know i remember seeing back well, in the yeah, day I mean, it the market, wasn't always like there's that. more people doing that kind of thing because i know it works you know what i mean yeah i guess that's, that's, that's true, why yeah. that's why you see more of it but like i mean you the reason that it's it's not more of the edgy style content is just because so many more people are doing the like kid friendly style videos yeah. that are getting promoted especially more. since fortnite came around but i mean you, you'll still see like yeah you'll still see like van os and wildcat me i get on trending i mean do gets on trending yep yeah. So I mean, it's not like yeah. it's not like it's not there. It's just not as prominent yeah, as the kid-friendly Roblox cancer. Yeah, exactly. It's just not as big of a thing. I don't. I honestly don't think YouTube is going any more kids-friendly than it is. Like, it's also up to the advertisers too. So I don't yeah. know. I mean, I think I still think the like prime area to be in terms of like revenue is just teetering on getting demonetized but also being very obviously like not for kids because you can't have like kids content gets a lot of views but doesn't make a lot of money because you can't have targeted advertisements yeah that is true i, I did forget about that find the fine line there of like this content's fucked but it's not going to get me demonetized well gaming will always be that fine line yeah, though, exactly. because just naturally you can never really prove that minecraft or among us or roblox is f like for kids you know what i mean yeah, because like I mean, technically, an adult could enjoy that as well. Well, yeah. I remember, I remember in in like when the when the Kappa stuff was real big. Um, I remember one of the like, I guess clauses was saying that if you have a thumbnail that l is is very obviously made to have a kid click on it, then it can be counted as kids content, even if the I content in the video is not specifically for kids. Like if you have a really if you have a really kitty bright colored cartoonish yeah. style. Like thumbnail. You mean like especially soups? it's bright colors. It's especially what well, no his he has he has Arabic writing and all stuff. Else. Like, <laughs> what is there no Arab there's children? Not kid Arabs? I'm saying, yeah. like, a, like a like a fucking Minecraft. Come out the Madusi four year old man. <laughs> Full chest hair. <laughs> like a Roblox can't. character doing like a dab that's oversaturated, like stuff like that. Or it's just yeah, like I, I came out the coochie at twenty five. I, I don't know about that, McNasty. <laughs> I feel like that's I, way too up to. I mean, that's something that I saw in the, in the Kappa thing. That's not like me just giving my opinion. That's something that I literally saw. It's such a gray area, though. Like, how can that have any weight to it? Because, like, how, who's to say which is what? Yeah. Right. You know. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I, bullshit. I, yeah, I agree. I don't know. I think that's more of like something that would be settled in court, not by YouTube yeah. <laughs> deciding. Yeah. I don't know. That Kappa thing affected a lot less of me than I thought it would. I don't know why I was like scared when that was coming off that all of our channels would be in trouble and like it would change youtube but literally not a single thing came from i feel that. like that happens all that's the time that's the with YouTube. trend with i was just gonna say yeah every time there's some big scare like every year or two there's some giant there's scare something on YouTube. Yeah. yeah it's like that whole thing with the g pie like that verizon thing and like the huh? net neutrality oh um oh yeah yeah, yeah net neutrality thing yeah that was everywhere all the yeah. time and now everybody like, thought youtube was okay. just gonna be gone from that nothing ever happened to us at all I just, when you have this just massive amount of people going into one website every day, I don't really think anything short of just deleting the website is not going to kill it, you know? I just yeah, don't YouTube's think that, not going anywhere for a long yeah. time. No, it's, there's way too much money that goes Even if there's a shit. competitor out there that's perfect in every aspect, people are still going to go to YouTube just because... YouTube actually loses money. Like, YouTube itself loses Google money. It does not make money. So there will literally never be a competitor to YouTube. It costs so much money to be able to upkeep the amount of horse shit that's being uploaded daily to that platform. Like, it, it is literally never going to have actual competition, which is a good and bad thing, I guess. 
because uh, it keeps all the views in one spot. But also, if YouTube is fucking over people, then it's going to be a problem. But honestly, yeah. I really have no complaints on the platform, like especially compared to like Twitch right now, where you can literally pay to be in the recommended section. YouTube's yeah, looking pretty good these days. So yeah, I don't know. Twitch has been have, making wrong moves for a lot for a while. Twitch is yeah. I, I feel like YouTube has gotten better and Twitch has gotten a lot worse. Yeah, I saw something like that was uh, comparing how much Mr. Beast, like one of Mr. Beast's videos brings in in comparison to like the whole series of Squid Game. <laughs> and it was like the whole series didn't even come close to how much money one Mr. Be- like Beast video makes. Actually? Oh, fuck. Yeah, supposedly. I, I mean, mean, I can't remember I where can I saw that. that but I, I feel like his CPM is fucked and he gets... And he gets 10 million views a video, yeah. And he's got it. So his yeah. brand deal's got to be for like seven figures too, or something. Oh, shit. and his I'm merch. sure that's not. Yeah. I'm sure that's probably not true for every video, but like you know, YouTube's not going to go anywhere when they're bringing in fucking tens of millions of dollars of video. He probably has Google know? preferred too, so he's oh, probably. Of course, bro. He 100%. probably has fucking everything. You know what? He deserves it though. I made a sweet Susan probably drives, today. flies a fucking helicopter to his house. Did you? Uh, and just gives him duffel bags. Did you guys watch uh, <laughs> Charlie's video on, on Mr. Beast? No, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. He talked about like what Mr. Beast is like off camera because obviously when anybody like Mr. Beast comes along and does good things for people, mm-hmm. um, there will be people who want to shit on him and try to like you know discredit what he does and are, like people say like he's an asshole off camera or like he only does it for views. Um, I didn't know about this, but apparently him and I can't remember the other guy's name. I'm not sure if he's a YouTuber or whatever, but they have like a massive, massive food warehouse, um, and like everything within like I think he said a hundred mile square radius of that just gets free food from mr beast all the time like for that community like millions of pounds of food is transferred mm. through there by him like i think gonna say he was like pocket. stealing food from like homeless children or something like no <laughs> no he like secretly genu- just a super villain <laughs> genuinely a good person like yeah. not just on camera but just i don't know the way like the way charlie talked about him who is i don't know i feel like he's got a pretty good head on his shoulders he you know mm-hmm. tells it how it is with people the way he praised Mr. Beast, I've never heard him praise somebody like that ever. So, I don't know. Mr. Beast is just, uh, he's just a fucking incredible He's person. good people. He yeah. is such a good person. Yeah, Especially if anybody like, deserves the money that he makes, it's him. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing, is he doesn't even, like, keep any of it. He fucking spends, like, all of it. He did <laughs> a uh, so much, yeah. he did a video with uh, Casey Neistat a while back, and they were, like, talking about it. And he said, like, he keeps enough in his, his personal bank account so that, like, if his channel got deleted, whatever, he'd be fine for a couple of years. Um, and not have to worry. So he probably just keeps like half a mil or something. Um, but yeah, he like spends everything he makes back into his videos, his community and his employees is what he said, which is like mm-hmm. nuts. Cause I mean, I'm all about giving back, but fuck that. I would not be giving 95% <laughs> of my revenue away. I am not that nice of a person. Yeah. yeah. He is just, but I feel is... like even just 5% of his revenue is just insane to yeah us. you like, can still be a, a decent person and 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 keeps you know 50 percent of your money and we have to give it all away oh you don't have to give shit away and like that doesn't yeah. not yeah, giving no. money away does not make you a bad person whatsoever like i don't know you can be a, a non-generous person and still be a very good person yeah i don't know that kind of whole like you have to give everyone else your money thing is kind of a weird thing Socialism. unless it's like no unless it's we're talking about you know billionaires paying taxes in which case they absolutely should yeah, we we should not all be paying more taxes than Elon Musk. Oh, but, you know that's a yeah. whole other conversation. But yeah, that's not where I was going with that. I just mean like donating to people and stuff. Like, yeah, I don't want to yeah, talk about that on a podcast because we're gonna need comments to be like, what they think? Oh yeah, the, the whole the whole YouTubers uh, should stick to YouTube and you know coming from a person that works at Lowe's who's apparently allowed to talk about uh, politics. So that's cool. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I think it's a good I think it's a good clause to just. To just have it to, on the podcast where we just never talk about politics or like social or f- social opinions, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't give a fuck. I I wish we should be able to maybe dabble in it without the comment section. <laughs> we uh, did burning. dabble in it a few podcasts ago, and we maybe. got nine million comments. Are like, I can't put that. I can't put comment that, I can't put section. That. Maybe maybe yeah. don't take what we say so seriously. Yeah. Let's just relax a little bit. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You have to remember, we're the f- we're the goons podcast. We're literally the most retarded podcast 
on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Retarded. What we say means literally nothing. Don't don't get too butt hurt if we say something you don't agree with. It means nothing. <laughs> That's all it I'm going to say. Most of the time we have a political opinion within several seconds we're talking about monkey shit. Yeah. You know, it's it's <laughs> <Exactly>. just <laughs> It's really not not that important. Anyways, I Ate a cookie earlier and it was good. <laughs> really? That's your segue? I, was, I <laughs> thought you were actually gonna go somewhere with that. No, I don't have a segue of a car. Like, like go somewhere, like leave the die, podcast. Die, 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 die. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Don't tell die. him to die after he says he has a vehicle. He's already been close enough. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah. finish something for once. <laughs> have you guys ever rode a segue? Uh, mm -mm. uh no. yeah, cool. actually, I did. It was horrifying. They're Fuck weird. That you feel like you're just gonna fall actually off of it, huh? enjoy the presence of women. So no, I haven't done that. <laughs> That's fair. That's a good answer. Sometimes, like, uh, security guards will have segues chase you down two miles an hour. Imagine being in a mall, hearing that there's an active shooter situation, and just seeing three <laughs> three mall cops on fucking little scooters go by. Like, that does not breed confidence I within me. You say that until the segue has lock-on rockets attached to the side of it. <laughs> yeah. It has not, nitro. It just fucking flies into the wall at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Until they jump off with their bare 50 cals that are fucking gold and do a 360 yeah, this no is scope. a Segway V2 with a detachable flashlight. <laughs> Hellcat Segway. <laughs> and the donut laughing. fryer underneath. Yeah. Every time I ride this baby a kilometer, I get one free donut. You know, my uh, my cousin, he told me the reason that cops um, are so into donuts is because a lot of cops will work like really late night shifts. And those are kind of the only places that are open late at night. Pizza. Damn, dude. Yeah. That's pizza. That is. That sound like that is based in fact. Pizza. I don't know about that. Yeah, pizza is open. Well, like, is pizza not open like all night where you guys live? No, hell no. No. These places close here at like 11 p.m. Wait, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Thank oh God. Yeah, there's like. Well, we don't, dude. We don't have cops that are that wear suits on horses like you guys do. Okay, we have actual I, real manly I, cops. I, I, I don't have people. those here. That's, oh, that's like. <laughs> yeah, we got Paul Blart. What you got? <laughs> We got cops that are 350 pounds. <laughs> There's all the damn donuts. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't have Mounties where we live. Those are like up north cops. and Mounties. Mounties. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mountie. <laughs> Mount their horses before they go to work. I need to fetch me. I'm a oh, Mountie. Look at me. I'm a Mountie. I'm a Mountie. Look at me. I'm a Mountie. I'm a little gay ass cop. Man, yeah, they're, they're mostly like for ceremony and shit. I don't really think they actually do police What stuff. ceremony? What the mean? fucking pride parade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have a we do have a street in Toronto that that turns into Queer Street for all of June. Okay. All right. Is that where you live? Okay. <laughs> no, it's actually called Queer Street in in June. It's called it's normally You're doxing yourself. I, I live Come nowhere on. near. I live 4 hours away from Toronto. Blarg lives on Queer Street. Blarg lives on Queer Street. One of my good friends did. But yeah, like all the signs and stuff, it just says yeah, good Queer Street. Your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. good friend. Yeah, my yeah. boyfriend lives on uh, Queer Street. <laughs> yeah, me, me and him fuck each other's little man ass all the time. Uh, I knew it. I That's how I feel about your street name. Okay. Fair all enough. Right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Blarg. I don't even remember, don't even remember what I was saying. Blog. Uh, uh, policeman <laughs> on mooseback or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We have normal police here. They drive like cars, like Ford Tauruses. Dude, if a police were coming at me with like a, a tamed moose, I would be terrified of that cop. Is he a fucking wizard? I mean, he tames a moose. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I was, that's what I'm saying. If a man was able to tame a moose, especially a policeman, I have I never seen a over. moose. I actually like, Canada is just fucking great value Skyrim. Changed my mind. <laughs> Pretty sure it's based off Norway, isn't it? I don't think that's Canada. Yeah, <laughs> pretty Skyrim is. Yeah. Yeah, like Nords, Norway. You know. Norse mythology. Yeah, Norse. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Chungus mentality. Chungus mentality. Chungus mindset. Wake up, butter sleep. Chungus grind set. Wake up, fat. Stay fat. Go to bed, fat. Wake up, double <laughs> cheese burger, side of fries. Go to bed. Man, when I hit like 40, I actually just want to get fat just to see what it's like being fat all the time. I just want to as fat as possible. Just not care about anything. Sounds so nice. Dude, let's stop talking about age. <laughs> Bro, are you all right, Soup? Like, What's... 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 <laughs> he had a birthday now. He's, now he's freaking out. <laughs> 
Like, so yeah, because I turned 24, everyone's like, ooh, six years till 30. Ooh, six years six till 30. Six years left. Yeah, then it's over. <laughs> That's a long <laughs> fucking time, dude. That's literally yeah. an unvaccinated child's lifespan. It is, but it's not, dude. It's it, That's a long fucking time. That is five, six times the amount of Stewie Griffin's age. Damn, dude, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, you really do Man. have to take that into account. When you put it in perspective, it really makes you understand. When I put Stewie Griffin into the occasion... Mm-hmm. <laughs> The There's no situation or problem on this planet that cannot be solved by Stewie Griffin. Sitch. Whenever getting something wrong. off of a top shelf, maybe. Pick him up. Him. Set him up there. Football head, baby. Well, damn. Stewie Griffin has... He, there's no way he doesn't have a grapple. Okay? <laughs> he can grapple to the top of okay. the fridge. I forgot I'm talking to the resident family guy expert. I should exactly. just Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're talking to Peter Griffin. See, if you know, understood the lore, <laughs> if I was Peter Griffin, I wouldn't be able to understand Stewie. But no, I'm just a viewer. Yeah. You fucking played, loser. I scoff at that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well, accidental fart slipped out <laughs> midway through your scoffing. <laughs> I fought at that. Soup, are you actually that bummed about turning 24? No, but, I, dude, I don't want to turn 30. Blah! Dude, you've got your Blah! lifetime's four left to live. You're chilling. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, what do you mean his lifetime's four? Oh, uh, you're, I thought, you're only I like a quarter meant, of the way through. I thought he meant till he's yeah. 30. I was like, oh, well, what? Is he two? I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> that's some good okay. math there, Matt. <laughs> so, was that so, right? I don't know, bro. I don't I do not do math, YouTuber. We just. What do you think you guys would be doing right now if YouTube wasn't a thing? Like right this second. Like dangling from my ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Probably working in a studio somewhere. That's what I was going to college for. Oh, no, so. you'd still be at Chick Fil A. Probably butt fucking the Earth. Yeah. <laughs> where, where is the Earth's butt? Where, is it, where would that be? Volcanoes. Yeah, Mount Everest. Biggest volcano. <laughs> Mount Everest is the Earth's titty. <laughs> Did it have breast cancer? Where's the other one? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Got Fucking. a titectomy. That's not what that called. Is the Great Wall of China just the Earth's choker? That's its, it's ass its, crack. It's its gooch. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the line between the balls and taint. ass. Yeah. Yeah. It's the it's the ball seam. <laughs> Good old ball seam. Are you saying China is the ass and balls of the Earth? Is that what you're <laughs> implying? Yeah, I think that's fair. It's pretty big, so that's something. It's got that going for it. Yeah. That is the official goon statement. Earth's got a dumpy. <laughs> like nasty, you didn't even answer your own question. Nasty answer. What question? Oh, uh... Man, you really are retarded. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think that's what he would be. Um... Be in a daycare I feel somewhere. Like, I feel like you'd have a similar lifestyle to Shoe Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shoe Nice is a YouTuber, though. Yeah, but, like, you'd be doing that without the... Yeah, you'd be... Fun. For no one, just for you. <laughs> Look at his AirPods, I'm gonna eat them! <laughs> that candle looks fucking delicious. <laughs> My favorite video of him is the fucking... Homeless eating, eating sponge no homeless uh, eating SpongeBob stickers in an alley. <laughs> have you seen the one where he swallows the head the iPhone headphones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I got I got him to do that live. Yeah, I think he told me that, yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Let's summon him again back to your comment section. <laughs> let's let's not let's just shoot let's nice fucking... on the podcast. No. God, it's like saying Voldemort. <laughs> um, I'm actually okay if we don't do that. If I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably be working on like computer stuff because that's what I was in school for. Oh, yeah. I don't believe I that. I was in school when I did YouTube. Yeah. Mm hmm. Sure you were, buddy. Mm hmm. <laughs> I bet they taught you how to draw real good. You probably on <laughs> Shutter Island. <laughs> Shutter Island. Do they, have, do they have special ed college classes? <laughs> do they live that long? So. Professional milk drinking. <laughs> Crayon theory. I guess they figure they're just not going to live very long, so there's no college That's theory. Crayon theory. Crayon <laughs> theory. <laughs> That's it, the crayon theory. <laughs> did you guys, uh, did you guys see that, that video that went around recently of that dude that they found living in the forest since the, uh, Vietnam War, and he had a kid, and his kid is, like, never seen any, like, mass population, didn't know what women mm -hmm. were. No. Yeah, he was, like, 30-something. That right happened now, with think? a World War II veteran, too, didn't it? Really? Yeah, like, he he still had, like, a fucking active grenade on him when they oh found God. him <laughs> or something. Huh. Yeah, that's probably not ideal. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, no, this dude is, like, living off the land and shit, and he had a kid, um, and...
they introduced his kid back to uh, uh, society and stuff, and he he was fine for like a few months, and then he died of cancer. So that is telling. Well, like, wait, wait, wait. So the the man was a uh, Vietnam. Yeah, like the he was man, Vietnamese. The man fought. Yeah, he was a Vietnamese uh, farmer who you know joined. And the, he fought uh, in the war. Yeah, and then he was like, and ah, he, I got. Did he hide. not know that it was over? No, he didn't know it was over. How so the he, fuck did he have? How, how did he have a kid then? Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, I didn't really. Uh, <laughs> did he dissect- meet another like a just a like one woman who just yeah no that did he actually meet a woman who just also didn't know the war was over. Did he just like fuck a bonobo in the, in the jungle? <laughs> like- <laughs> yeah, that really does just uh put a big hole in that. No, I'm not sure. He pro- I'm, I don't know. Maybe he like found like a farm wife woman thing and was like, yeah, you know, war happening, but let's make baby. And then they made a baby and. They're uh, just like, but surely the wife, yeah, the wife would have been like, you know, that like that's, that's over. Well Maybe over she with. didn't know. I have no idea. I don't know. How I, old was the kid? Uh, I don't know the lore, but yeah, the the guy was like, he looked probably like thirty now, and they introduced him to society, and he had like no teeth left, and now he wears just, supreme. Right? No, he, iPhone he, 13 Pro Max. No, no, no he just died of he cancer. He owns a YouTube channel called Rise. Oh, the Gun. son died from cancer. <laughs> yeah, the son died of cancer. Man. They introduced him back to society, and he just died of cancer immediately. He probably ate way too many microwave chicken nuggets all at once. <laughs> just, just, just microwaved everything in amazement. He probably ate a table. <laughs> Discovered Stouffer's. <laughs> good times, good times. But yeah, there was a guy in World War II that something similar happened. He didn't have a child, but he was like still hiding and shit and he was like killing civilians what the fuck? Oh, holy shit he, and then he, he killed he killed himself yeah. right and then he wrote a book too in that order he, he wrote the book after he killed himself <laughs> <laughs> got a talented yeah, man had, right he there had a funny, he had a funny mustache too that guy yeah I hear that hitler about. oh <laughs> he's talking <Okay>. about hitler <laughs> that's hitler uh, yeah that's, yeah hitler. yeah i'm looking it up <clears throat> i wonder if there's people there there has to still be people out there who have the last name hitler that wasn't his last name. Wait, yes, it was. Oh yeah, it was God. Adolf Hitler, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 60 years after the war ends, two soldiers emerge from the jungle. Do you know how much gay sex they probably had when they were just those two? Lucky. They were on a Philippine <laughs> island. Oh. Holy fuck. Did they just <laughs> get, like, left there by their, like, army or some shit? Well, I mean, they got fucking nuked, so yeah, they their army probably wasn't I too won- worried about them. Dude, I wonder how, like... How do you go that long and not just like come in contact with anybody? Yeah, I guess it's like you just a, sit the entire time and don't move. Yeah, like surely you have to be like seeing planes fly. Like if over you just and- walk in one direction <laughs> for like two months, you'll feel eventually you'll like. <laughs> yeah, for real. Not if they're on an island. I don't know. But if they think there's a war happening, then they probably won't want to see people. If they do, like like the one dude when they asked him if he ever saw people, uh, the the kid of the Vietnamese dude I was talking about. Um, when they asked him if he ever saw people before, he said like he saw groups, but he'd always run away. Like he'd be scared of them because he 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 was told he that there the was, still, was a war. still happening. Yeah. Mm. God, could you imagine? He was just like looking through the bushes and he saw some dumb bitch doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> <laughs> just like just like rep, 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 <laughs> walking by. He said, "What the fuck is that?" Renegading, he thinks it's like a, a war cry or something. Uh, he, was, he sees a, a fucking truck fly by going sixty, blaring Skrillex. <laughs> just freaks the fuck that out. That last live grenade would be used. I, I feel like that can be said in confidence. Yeah, I don't know. Like the thing that confused me is like airplanes. Like they saw regular airplanes, right? They had to have wondered what the fuck that. Probably thought they were gonna get bombed. But they didn't, yeah, I guess, but I mean, even bombing airplanes weren't, I don't know, maybe maybe they were that big, I don't know. I just feel like after about a year of not seeing anybody besides my, like, comrade, I'd be like, you know, bro, we should probably, like, go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, for well, real. A full, a full <laughs> year after not seeing any other person, you've probably reverted back to monkey. Like, the <laughs> thought is probably not even there of, like... I guess that's true. ...worrying about things, because you're just full monkey. Would you guys ever go into those chambers where uh, it has, like, no sound? Uh, you can't see. Like, if you turn off the lights, you don't hear any, like, white noise or anything. Oh, it just takes you just all hear, your like, senses the beat away. Of your heart. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are, yeah, those are weird. Sensory. What Sensory are deprivation tanks. Yeah. There you go. That's well, they have tanks, but they also have rooms where there's no sound. Yeah. It's, it has those, like, those, like, 
pizza shaped things on the walls that like yeah yeah i've seen people do that would you guys ever do that where yeah. they like start to hallucinate I would do and it. see like fucking monsters Bro, i feel shit? like i'd have that even just sitting in like a studio like a recording room at a studio like a really small vocal booth man i i feel like i go crazy in there yeah, after they, like they are pretty quiet like five minutes in there i'm just like okay i gotta get the fuck out like so you discover actually, you got tinnitus <laughs> just, yeah that that i don't have tinnitus luckily i don't have that many itis i only have four like Fluoridus. I don't know how I don't drink have... fluoride. <laughs> Just down a cup of toothpaste. Isn't isn't there fluoride in uh, sink water? Water, like tap yeah. water. It's in everything. But it's such a minute amount; it doesn't affect you. Yeah. So what they say? That's not. That's what the. That's what the government wants you to think. I can't remember the last time I'm just drinking tap water. Drinking. I do it for fun sometimes. It's just so dude. easy and cheap to get like filtered water now. Well, sometimes if I want like a little escape from reality, I'll just chug some tap water. <laughs> just get some fucking chlorine in your body and trip out. Peasant challenge. That is one of the nice things about Canada. Our our tap water is actually like hella clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you have to pay eighty five percent taxes. I was in California and I had a friend who just went up to the sink. And just started chugging the water. And I was like, are you a fucking psycho, dude? <laughs> like, I've seen people do that in, like, bathrooms before. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> right. I'm like, dude, are you, are you like, trying to kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> that every night at, like, 3 a.m. when I wake up, I just go chug some tap water and go back to bed. I would have been less concerned if he just downed a, like, fucking massive bottle of Grey Goose. <laughs> Grey Goose. I finally posted that uh, enlisted video on my second channel. Oh, yeah? And I just fucking oh, yeah. shit talked it. What 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 happened with that? If you're listening to this, don't ever play Enlisted. That game is. I never even signed well, a contract play with it, them. Play it if you want to have a good laugh at a buggy ass game. Just don't take a brand deal for play it. Play it if you're if you feel like you're way too happy with life and you need to knock it down a peg. Yeah, if you if you need that thirteenth reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have. I should have done like <laughs> like I was actually gonna sponsor and be like. If your life is too nice, yeah, yeah things you, are just going way too well for you. You have a great relationship with your parents. Do you want to beat the fuck out of them? <laughs> Do you want to shit blood daily? And play this garbage game. No, but they they essentially just wanted me to make, like, uh, like a game review. Game review! And I didn't fucking... Do they know what you do? <laughs> nope, no, apparently it's not. not game reviews. I hate when brands don't even bother looking into the type of content you make. Yep, and they're just like, "Oh, can you mention this and this and this while you're playing?" It's like, dude, that no. could be a mukbang channel. They would be like, "Oh, I just, I don't know. You can't eat food." They, it's like they they <laughs> don't know what other gaming channels are, other than like they don't like they just they don't understand that like some people aren't fucking game reviewers. They just play I never. The game. I'm starting to never take the ones where they're like, "We are big fan of channel and watch video daytime." Yeah, those I've never taken. I think you end up like training him doing that shit. I'm like, it's a fuck. That is such a lie. It's the biggest scumbag yeah. lie. We at the office love your channel. You don't know my channel. Shut up. It's like, first of all, you don't own an office. <laughs> you are in a call center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Those ones have always been red flags for me. I pretty much only. I don't know. I, I don't like doing dedicated videos anymore. To be honest, they, big, uh, the big problem with that specifically too is I was supposed to put it out at the end of September, and. They didn't, like, get back to me until, like, the, almost the second week of October. Oh, love that. Jesus. And then I told them, I was like, I don't want to do a game review. Like, you're, you're, people are going to download the game more if you just let me be myself in the video. Exactly. And then they never, they took forever to reply to that. <laughs> and that was, like, the end of, almost the end of October. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to fucking post it. It's like those, it's like those guys will answer one email and you reply back within minutes and then they've like either like died at their desk or they go on like a, like a cruise or some shit. Yeah, it's like they just, yeah. they just pick up the computer and just, yeah, they take it. a pilgrimage to Mecca. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just gone. I was having a bit of a, a, a like, a, like a, like a, a like, a, mm, mm -hmm. a, 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 mm, a, 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 spit it out, hard boy. <laughs> I was having a bit of a moral epiphany. With that game because it it was just so terrible and I I just I felt bad sitting there being like yeah at least it is the game to play this year go oh, have fun because you'd be lying to your viewers to be straight lying yeah for money for money yes <laughs> speaking of lying to our viewers for money use code goons for G subs it's really good we promise soup you gotta stop with that dude uh, soup <laughs> do you want to make money or not son like <laughs> I literally had like two cups of G-Sups this morning. I, I am not on the same page as you. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. I, 
I had a cup yesterday. Yeah. It was really good. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I had the Sorry. strawberry daiquiri from Yeah. Uh, same. Oh, what? yeah. I haven't tried that one yet. It's pretty good. It's, it's really real good. fucking yeah. good. I, have, I don't think I've got I haven't gotten a flavor in a while. It's probably know. my favorite one. Yeah, they don't like you, McNasty. Yeah. They're like, he's too addicted to monsters. Just keep him away from the caffeine. I really like Badger's <laughs> flavor. The uh, the guacamole gamer fart one. <laughs> I, I You know what? I had that today. That was good. I, I don't understand what flavor it is. I cannot figure out what the fuck actual flavor it is other than guacamole gamer fart. Because it's not guacamole because that'd be disgusting. And it certainly isn't fucking gamer fart. And I've fart, eaten so plenty I, of farts. It's not I have, farts. Trust I me. Have, yeah. Didn't ask. Plus you're white. What if it just tasted like <laughs> guacamole and shit? That would not be a good flavor. What if it was just Dude. doo-doo? What if it was literal just doo-doo? <laughs> not to promote... Those are just cement shavings. Not to promote the other brand, but I am really interested to try the uh, Big Badlands Chugs G Fuel flavor, which is That's chili dog. How fucking dare you? Get the fuck off this podcast right now. How fucking dare you? It's chili dog. Like, how, I wonder... Diabetes. How, how accurate... How accurate you think they got it? Bro, G Fuel, it's going to be lead and chili dog. That is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it's not really about the flavor when it comes to G Fuel. It's just like the chalkiness and like the, it doesn't mix well. I don't, uh, that's no, always, I've never had G Fuel. I've always had that problem with G Fuel. Because I always heard it was like that. The only time I ever had it is when uh, <laughs> my my sister's like ex-boyfriend had like a bunch of packets that he bought and he gave me a couple. And I was just bunch like, of pills are, he was taking. These are ass. Not good. It didn't taste bad. It was just like, you would get like a big chunk of dust. Like yeah. when you're when you're drinking it, yeah, yeah, it's like eating out grandma's butt. Exactly, <laughs> it's like putting your mouth on the bottom of her ass crack and then pouring a cup of water down her ass into your mouth. No, you like feed her some blueberries <laughs> and wait a business day for it to come out. Yeah, imagine <laughs> imagine doing that and then she just takes a hundred dollars from exactly. you. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lead brick in there. Unless That's... you put code goons in her asshole, and get ten percent off. You only have to give her ninety. Where? Tell me when the downsides start. Tattoo goons on your grandma's forehead. <laughs> Even if she's dead, go find her and do it. Dig her up. Tattoo her skull. Her dead, decrepit skull. Okay. You just had to make it dark, didn't you? Nasty. <laughs> He's the one that fucking... That's the one that said it, uh, even if she's dead. No, that was you. <laughs> yeah, Stop. I just coughed. What are you going to yeah. do about it? What are you going to do about it? Oh! Um, what? Um, what? 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 Um, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you guys doing for Halloween tomorrow? Absolutely nothing, because I am a loner. I have no... F Actually, I'm going go to I'm gonna go to the bar. I was planning That's on putting drugs in candy. <laughs> and razor blades. And yeah, I was going to hand out <laughs> Glocks and Mars bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to hand out, like, roofied candy mm -hmm. and just do, like, a social experiment. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Your parents that will love that cool. and not post about it. I'm just going to hand out bricks of gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was thinking about putting a sign in a hidden location where it was kind of hard to see that says anybody that steps foot on my property will get shot immediately. <laughs> just turning all my lights on and have like a little walkway and they could look all spooky. And then just blow their and brains And then just out. boom, boom, Just behind boom. the front door, there's just a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> set up like an Indiana Jones cave style trap door to just kill children. Yeah. <laughs> my front yard is going to look like D-Day on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Omaha Beach, motherfuckers. <laughs> Do you get trick or treaters where you live, Soup? I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> My lawyer advised me not to tell not you. Not after that. last year. <laughs> they don't come around no more. It's still an open case. <laughs> no, seriously though. Do you get them do you get them that far out or no? Nobody does it around here where I'm at. Bro, I moved into an old white people neighborhood and there is Two million children. I had to buy three hundred chocolate bars to make sure I'm like prepared. I live in an old in an old white person area, and I'm I'm afraid of that this year. That's just gonna be nonstop kids. Yeah, just that's, turn your lights turn your off. Lights off. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a zombie apocalypse. It's just gotta like <laughs> don't attract Board them. Board up the windows. <laughs> Light attracts them. Shaking behind the front door with a shotgun cocked and. <laughs> Tell them you'll give them a piece of candy if they recite like "Glory to the People's Republic of China." <laughs> <laughs> if you pledge allegiance to Kim Jong Un, I'll give you a Mars bar. <laughs> I'm just gonna radicalize every child for a candy bar. <laughs> I'm gonna have child soldiers by the end of the evening. I almost want to set up like a uh, like a really loud Bluetooth speaker to just like play a loud, like terrifying scream the second the doorbell rings. You should just play, like, fucking World War II, like, German propaganda. <laughs> <for New Zealand>. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
Just a live leak <laughs> two hour video of ISIS beheading. It's like John Cena's theme song from <laughs> WWE or whatever. Do you think we have any social credit? Goons. No, absolutely not. Our social Goons. credit is in the dumpster. Goons. I don't know. I think me saying that gives me like plus 15 Goons. social credit. I wonder like how that system actually works. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> how does that system like actually work? Like is that an actual full on thing in China? Yeah, I think so. I don't really know much about China. Yeah. I don't know much about anything because I'm a standard white straight male. Only thing I know about China is that it's okay for them to have a wall. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep them mongs out, boy. <laughs> Oh, that, that is why I, it was built, yeah. Yeah, can you say that, though? Is that a... <laughs> I mean, they did it. <laughs> Gotta keep Among Us porn out, boy. <laughs> Gotta keep Among Us out. Dude, speaking of Among Us porn, I had an what? Among Us porn hmm? ad on YouTube. I thought you were about to say Dream. I oh. saw that. It was in one of your videos, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I left it in. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, what was the porn? And they don't want us to swear? What? That's what I was saying. I'm like, how does that just slip through the fucking cracks? Like, red is just being all sussy, top right-hand corner, but fucking yellow, but I can't say bitch or titty or coom. Like, come on. You say that all the time. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you just said all three of those things right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, negative 300 million social credit, I guess. Glory to the People's Republic of YouTube. Has it been an hour? Can I leave this hellhole? It has been an hour. It's been over Let's an hour. Go. Bye. I was having fun. I wanted to keep talking. I never have fun. It's all pain. We know, Blarg. We know. It's because of the country yeah. that you live in, boy. We know you're not playing hockey or butt fucking a moose. You can't have no fun. <laughs> you know what? I was actually supposed to play hockey tonight, and now I'm not. So mm -hmm. you hit a soft why is that? spot. Is that why you're so mad? Cry about it. Have, Blame it on I, the Americans like you do everything yeah. else, Blarg. Is there a moose apocalypse happening? Is that why you can't play hockey? Yeah, there's a big <laughs> moose on the ice, and they can't they can't move him. Is there a syrup flood moose happening? <laughs> I feel like a syrup flood, you, you'd you definitely be able to see that coming. That would take a long time to actually cause any... <laughs> It'd be all just super slow. <laughs> <laughs> just this big, gloopy load slowly. Aunt Jemima's you would just never be able to it. clean that up, though. Aunt <laughs> no. Jemima's surfing. Mm. Dude, what? I have it. I, my cousin has an oh Aunt Jemima syrup in the pantry, and it's and it's the bitch. Dude. It's the bitch. It's the bitch, dude. Save that. That's going to be a relic someday. Sell that on eBay know, for 20 million eBay, dude. quid. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> if we become the number one podcast on Spotify. We're not even that far off. That's what's scary. I don't even know what our number is right now. What is our Spotify social score? I'll get an Aunt Jemima tattoo. You get a what now? Hold on. An Aunt Jemima tattoo. Where? I'll get one. On your ass cheek, butthole, penis, tip, ball sack, taint. Where are you getting it? Middle of my forehead. Let's go, No, baby. no. No, I can't do that. I, I'll, I'll get one on my arm. You're going to get to the... Fuck beat out of you if you get that on your forehead. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> what, Aunt Jemima? Uh, a tattoo of Aunt Jemima? Some... Yeah, wasn't somebody saying that she was like, it's literal slave labor to make that syrup? It's, people said that. I don't know if that's true or not, but... What if I'm just a big <laughs> fan of the fucking syrup? Yeah, well, explain that to the, the blue-haired bitch knocking you to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Why is always blue haired? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's going on with blue hair and just being violently angry at everyone? I don't know. There's got to be some sort of correlation. They just—they want the world to just be monotone and just boring. Yeah. No spiciness at all. They took all the minorities off of the products. Now it's all just white people on the products. Are they happier now? Yeah, I don't... you know what's funny about that too is that <laughs> that in and of itself is racist. Yeah. They're like removing black people off of their own product. And they took the Lando Lakes Indian off too. <laughs> Not him, bro. Yeah, they they wiped Lando Lakes Indian off of off of the fucking off of the off of Sir, the serves him right for being on American products. Exactly. <laughs> That's that is way more racist. Hold on. What if they replaced it with just like a U.S. soldier? <laughs> <laughs> just a guy in a wig, uh, a powdered wig. Or something. <laughs> oh, I feel like some somebody posted some shit on the internet, like. This is an outrage, like as a joke, and then mm -hmm. like actual people pick up on it, and then they just like blindly well, go along. I mean, with that's it. what happened with the fucking, yeah. you know, the like how dude, social media creates hives, dude. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute, I'm bored and I have nothing to be pissed off about. I choose this. You know, how Pepe became like a, a, a apparently a racist thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that that was because of 4chan. They literally memed it and were like, "What should we make racist?" 
And they that's just, what I'm saying. I feel like the same thing happened with Aunt Jemima. And yeah, it was on. It was on like the actual news. Like the news was talking about yeah, Pepe about being Pepe a racist, the like per- racist frog. <laughs> yeah, that that twitch emotes of a racist, guys. <laughs> That's what, dude. That's scary, though. Is that not horrifying that shit like that gets so like, people like people have that kind of power? It starts out as a joke, and mm-hmm. then people will like l- take it literally and run with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can do a lot of crazy shit on 4chan. Did I? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I talked about this. Did I talk about when my friend almost uh, got somebody uh, potentially murdered because of 4chan? No. 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 Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, so hopefully this doesn't get him in trouble. I won't name any names, but um, there was uh, there was a shooting that happened um, mm-hmm. in Chicago, and he 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 saw saw it, and 4chan was talking about it, and he was like 15 at the time, so obviously you're just stupid and want to troll everything. So he was on uh-huh. 4chan, was like, uh, I was the one that shot him, AMA, in the 4chan uh, thread. And everyone was like asking questions. He was just like fakely answering them. And somebody is like, "What's your address?" And he just looked up a random address in oh, uh, in no. Chicago. Yeah, and he posted it in the 4chan uh, thing. And <laughs> fucking checked the thread later, and everyone was like, "Op, your house is getting raided." And apparently it was on the news. The SWAT team raided this fucking address that he posted on 4chan. Oh my god. And some poor dude. Fucking idiot. (laughs) Had his fucking house raided and did absolutely nothing. Yeah, this was a very long time ago, but yeah, don't don't fuck around with 4chan. You know what my mind was going to was the the person. Did your friend go to prison? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the the actual uh, logistics of it are because he. I don't know. He didn't actually like. I don't know. I have no idea. He didn't inform the police and be like, "Oh, there's a hostage situation here" or anything. He just posted it as like a meme. I don't know. It was so fucking long ago, so I don't know if like. Dude, my my mind what? was thinking that the person that asked for the address was somebody that was like gonna get revenge and just go in and like shoot the place no, up. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that would be really bad. Yeah, no. Especially but, if it was like gang related or something. Yeah, yeah. Long story short, don't don't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know if anything bad came from it for the guy who had his fucking house raided, other than probably a, a full full diaper after Trauma. that incident. Yeah. yeah. But uh yeah, that was uh that was something. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. No. Fortune did actually used to be funny though, because like before everyone like, went to Reddit, like, all the normal people. Now 4chan mm-hmm. is just a fucking cesspool of racist idiots. But uh, back in the day, like, before Reddit was a thing, 4chan was actually, like, 50% uh, racism and beheadings, and the other 50 was just, like, people memeing. And back then, mm. like, 2012, 4chan was actually pretty fucking funny. So 100% cool. There was a lot of, there was a lot of good stuff going on there. <laughs> Said memes, twenty five percent racism, twenty five percent. Sounds beheadings. like our fan base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. It's probably a pretty accurate number, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, Did that's you guys ever place. go through a period where you were like interested in watching like beheadings and stuff? No. <laughs> no, I'm not uh, a retard. No, I I seen enough of that in my days. I I had enough. Yeah, his parents took him no. to enough of those. I yeah. had a cousin that was like into that kind of shit. My parents taught me that that would be bad for my mental health. Yeah, it's so. not very good. Yeah, what did you just used- like sit down with a full pizza and just like? I've known people who were like for some reason just got a thrill off of watching that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah those are called serial killers. Those are deranged <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, people you you don't want to talk to. Yeah, those are not yeah. people you should associate with. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you ever watch someone get their fucking head cut off, man? <laughs> Woo! Let me tell you what, son. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't, I don't know yeah. about that one. So, so McNasty, you're one of those people, eh? <laughs> no. no, I feel like McNasty was like a meat. Spin I'm just asking for a friend, okay? Mm-hmm. Just, just watch a meat <laughs> spin for 20 minutes while he ate. <laughs> that box on his head is full of fucking meat. <laughs> wow, are we bringing up lore on the Goons podcast? McNasty lore, <laughs> lore, Nick lore. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard a box head joke from anybody I know in a long time. Shut up, vegan. <laughs> Damn, he got you there. <laughs> Bro, beef sticks. Yeah. Didn't you say people oh, still give you shit about that? Uh, didn't yeah. you like tweet about that or whatever? It's not really people giving me shit, it's people just still thinking that I'm vegan. Well, you were vegan for a while, so. Well, yeah, there's no like redemption or anything for that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been alive so, for 29 years, but I'm vegan for yeah, two it's months. It's kind of so like I'm... killing someone. Like it, people just will never kind of you know. Right. Forget. Like Jesus came to Earth and died for the sins, except for vegans. So mm-hmm. you can't be forgiven. Yeah. I don't know if there was vegans back then. You slept with the enemy. <laughs> you are in cahoots with the enemy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Sleep with my dog. What the fuck? Can we end it on that and not talk about it? Leave it on that. <laughs> <laughs> Editor, cut the podcast right there. <laughs> I love beheadings and sleeping with my dog. What can I say? I'm just one of those cool dudes. All right. I gotta go. So we should actually fucking end. Podcast title. <laughs> <laughs> Loves beheadings on the beach. I don't know. I, I feel like our whole well, entire well, channel would just get fucking nuked if we tried to put that in the title. Beheadings in the dark. I can imagine the editor, nice editor making a title, making a uh, fucking uh, thumbnail uh, for uh, uh, but, uh, ISIS beheading and that fucking dog. Be a sick thumbnail, like me doing blarg, just like holding a machete to your box head. I think that would yeah. get that would be one out of ten easily. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear you say do and blarg. I heard you say me doing blarg and my interest was That's what peak. I heard too. I was I was interested. But yeah. Well you heard the wrong thing, pal. You get the sand out of your ears. <laughs> I can't. It is stuck. <laughs> I am the sand. I am sand. I am leaving. I need to piss. <laughs> Do the outro. All right. Uh, go to Spotify, download podcast, please. Code Goon G Sups. YouTube.com, like it. Subscribe, comment.com. YouTube, Spotify, Do everything download that time. helps us. Do what all of that. Saying? Download, comment, like, Goon Spotify, Codcast. Codcast. Gamer time. <laughs> go watch Commentary, a, go watch a gameplay, podcast. funny moment, gameplay.com. 25 kill download. streak nuke on Rust. Laugh, try not to laugh, download try Spotify, thank you. Try not to come challenge, you. Goon's Edition. You're reading our tags right now? What is happening? Okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>